Now we can apply the theorem of purpose and goodliness to composite shape as well. Let's say we have this example and in this example it is said that determine the surface area and volume of the full solid in figure 9.22a. So we have this figure and we are required to find the surface area generated by these uh, lines. So we can find the surface area by using the theorem of purpose and goodliness and the we will modify that equation so the surface area generated by uh, these lengths uh, one two three four so we have these four lengths and these four lengths will generate some surface area this surface area this surface area and this surface area so that surface area can be determined by using that same uh, equation but this time we will write that this is theta into the summation of r bar times length so for the composite shape we can always find the surface area using this formula and similarly the volume will be equal to theta and theta is the uh, the angle traveled by the centroid uh, and this will not be r bar this will be r tilde and what is r tilde r tilde will be the centroid location of each and every length uh, from the axis of rotation and similarly this will be theta and this is the sum of uh, r tilde times the area and again r tilde will be the centroid location of each and every area from the axis of uh, from the axis of revolution so now i will explain this first of all we will find the surface area so we uh, if we draw the cross section of this volume so the cross section will look like this so we have one length two length three length and four lengths so we can divide this uh, cross section into different lengths since the lengths will give us the surface area. So we can say that just like the centroid problems we use to divide the composite shape into segments. So we will divide this complete cross section into various lengths. So let's say this is length number one, this is length number two, this is length number three and this is length number four. So let me write that we have number which is one two three and four we will find the lengths and similarly we will find the r tilde of each length and what will be r tilde so r tilde will be the centroid location of each length from the axis of revolution so the axis of revolution is the z axis now as we can see that this is length number one so we need to find this length so since this height is 1 and this is 1, so by using the Pythagoras theorem, we can say that this length, let's say this is L1. So L1 square will be equal to 1 square plus 1 square since this is 1 and this is 1 under the square root. So this will give us 2 square root and this will give us L1. So this is L1, 2 square root and this will be, this will be in inches. So this is square root 2. And similarly, its centroid will be at its mid length. So if we find this distance, so this will be its r tilde. And this r tilde will be, since in this uh, figure A, we are given that uh, this, is, this edge is at a distance of 2.5. So from here to here, this is 2.5. And we have to find this. So we can find this length, this whole length is, let me draw that triangle. So this whole length is square root 2. And if this is 1 and this is 1, this angle is 45. If this is 1 inch and this is, so this is 45. So this whole base is square root uh, cos of 45. And since this is at mid, so we need to divide it by 2. So we will get this length. So square root 2 square root 2 cos of 45 oh. square root 2 multiply by cos of 45 divided by 2 this gives us 0. 0.5 so 2.5 plus 0. 0.5 so from here to here this length is 0. 0.5 so 2.5 plus 0. 0.5 is 3 so this uh, L1 or segment 1 is at a distance of 3 inches so the centroid of this segment 1 is at a distance of 3 inches from the axis of revolution so we will write that this is 3 inches 
and the units of this are tilde is in inches similarly for finding the area we need to take the product that is r bar times l so we need to take this product this is 3 times square root 2 and the units will be in inches square now the second segment that is this length and this length is 2 inches so we will write 2 and its centroid is somewhere here at its mid length but from the axis of revolution this is at a distance of 2.5 so I will write 2.5 and 2.5 into 2 is 5 and now this one so this one is again the length of this one is 1 inches this is 1 this is given so 1 inches and its centroid is at its mid, uh, its mid length and it will be again uh, this is 2.5 and the mid length of this is if this is 1 so this is 0 0.5 so 2.5 plus 0 0.5 so that is 3 so it is at a distance of 3 and 3 into 1 is 3 and similarly this segment 4 our length 4 so that length 4 is 3 so 2 plus 1 3 so I will write 3 and again its uh, centroid is somewhere here but from the axis of revolution this is its r tilde this is its r tilde so this r tilde is 2.5 plus this one so 2.5 plus 1 is 3.5 so this is 3.5 and 3.5 into 3 is 3.5 into 3 gives us 10.5 so this is 10.5 now since we want to find the surface area so the surface area is uh, this equation and we have revolved this by 2 pi radians so the theta is 2 pi this is that theta in this equation this is 2 pi and the summation of r tilde times l so we have to find the sum of this so this will be the summation of r tilde times l so this is 3 into square root 2 plus 5 plus 3 plus 10.5 and this gives us 22.743 so this is 22.743 so we can write this this is 22.743 so by using the calculator let me multiply this answer answer multiply by 2 pi so this is 142.896 and it is approximately 142.90 so 142.90 inch square is the surface area generated by these four lines when they are revolved um, about the this z-axis which is the axis of revolution now to find the volume we will consider the cross-sectional area so we will have this figure right so we can divide that cross-section area into two uh, segments or two areas right so we can divide that into uh, a triangle and a rectangle so let's say this is area 1 and this is area 2 or segment 1 and segment 2 again we have to build that table so now we will write that number and area so i will write this is area and the area units will be in inches square and then we will find our tilde for the centroid of uh, each area and then we will take the product of that uh, r tilde times the area and then the volume will be equal to theta the summation of r tilde times area and that will give us the volume of the composite shape so now we have two areas so area number one this is my area one so its area will be one divided by two the base is one and the height is one so one into one so that is one divided by two one into one so this will give us 0.5 inch square and as we know that the centroid of a triangle it will be somewhere here so from from this base this distance will be uh, this distance will be this one divided by three this distance is one divided by three or from this side from the apex from this apex this will be two divided by three into this length this is the height for this base this is the height so two divided by three into one so the is in this figure number a uh, this area is at a distance of 2.5 radius 2.5 inches from the axis of revolution so uh, this is 2.5 and 2.5 plus 2.3 into 1 so that gives us 3.1667 so the 
our tilde for area 1 which is 0 0.5 is 3.1667 inches and similarly area number 2 so area number 2 is this rectangle and this is 2 times 1 this width is 1 so 2 times 1 is 2 inch square and its centroid will be at its geometric center and that geometric center this distance is 2.5 so 2.5 plus this 1 inch this is uh, sorry this is 1 so this will be 0 0.5 so this is 3.5 this is 2.5 plus 0 0.5 so that is 3 so this is our tilde for area 2 so this is 3 uh, let me write it like this 0 0.5 into 3.1667 and this is 3 into 2 is 6. Now we will add up this so that will give us the summation of r tilde times the area. So this is uh, 0 0.5 into 3.1667 plus 6. So this is, uh, we get this, this is 7.583. And using this second theorem of Pappas and Gulden is the volume generated by revolving this cross section about this uh, z axis is. so that will be theta is 2 pi radians since we want to revolve it by 360 degrees so this theta must be in radians that is 2 pi radians and this product is this so we will take the product of this 7.583 so this is our answer so i will multiply this answer by 2 pi so this gives us the volume equals to 47.65 47.65 and the units will be in inch cube since this is inch square into inch so this will be in inch cube so the volume generated by uh, these two areas this composite areas uh, gives us 47.65 inch cube so this is how we can use theorem of Pappas and Goldiness to find the surface area and volume of a composite shape i hope this will help you in your learning let me know in the comments if it helps in your learning also subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from hibler statics